I get asked often exactly what do the numbers on an oil can mean? 5W40, 5W30, or even let's say a 10W20, or whatever the case may be. So basically, I decided to make this video just to have a better understanding of what exactly this means over here. So um, to start off, you got to read this in two parts. So you got to read the 5W in one part, and then we're going to read the 40 in another part. So SAE actually means Society of Automobile Engineers. So when we look at the first part of the number, which is the 5W, W actually stands for winter, not weight or anything like that. Most people have those to confuse. When you see any W on any oil canister, it really means that this oil was designed for a winter climate. As I mentioned before, it's a two-part explanation. So this over here, the 5W is one part, and then the 40 is another part. So to begin, at low operating temperature, or in the minuses, you will have a SAE number of five. And then given the chemical composite of the oil, once the oil reaches operating temperature, which is about 100 degrees Celsius, you will have a SAE number of 40. So SAE rating uh, is basically the viscosity of the, of the oil or the weight of the oil. The lower the number, the more of a liquid form it has, so the more it would resemble water. Uh, over here, we have the example of 5W, but uh, very commonly in today's engines, we could see 0W as uh, a weight of an oil. That's very good on startup because it's a very liquidy. Uh, imagine having most of the oil sitting at the bottom of the oil pan uh, and you're sitting at minus 30 weather, for example. You would want that oil to reach the top of the of the motor very quickly so a low w rating is what you're looking for now we take the same scenario and we say that the motor has reached its operating temperature that we know the oil is about 100 degrees celsius to 130 about in most common applications a low rating no longer helps you as the oil is just really uh, almost of a liquid form looking like water just slushing around and not really offering much protection. So in this case, you would wanna get a higher weight or a higher SAE rating to offer a better protection as the engine is going uh, at operating temperature and down the road. So basically to sum it up, um, you want a nice liquid form oil at the beginning, at the startup, especially in cold weather. And once the engine is up to temp uh, operating temperature, you want a rating that has more of a dense oil, more of a thick oil to offer you that global protection uh, in your engine. There should be three major deciding factors on what oil goes into your car and what viscosity. Uh, one of those, the benchmark where you're going to start off is really the manufacturer's recommendation. So uh, this particular model here, as you could see, has a sticker. Most cars, you could find it right on the cap, what kind of oil goes on it. This particular model doesn't have it. But there is still a recommendation of using Mobile One oil for this particular model. So what the manufacturer recommends, that's really you're going to be your baseline. And then the other factor is going to be how do you drive the car? If you're the type of person to always be bouncing off the, uh, the rev limiter, then obviously you're going to be wanting to increase this number over here over the manufacturer spec. Uh, if you live, let's say, in California or hot weather, you might even find oil. It's not uncommon to find it without a W rating. So it would be a single rating of 30 or 40 and no W. As I mentioned before, W is really showing us uh, a winter grade oil. Uh, 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 oil that will work on very cold weather and obviously at operating temperature as well. So always check those three factors. Manufacturer is going to be your baseline. What does the manufacturer recommend? Uh, how? What are my driving habits? If I do a lot of towing, if I'm really revving the motor, uh, whatever the case may be, 
those are going to be really your deciding factors and also the climate it's my first video uh, not too sure about the idea yet I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, feel free to leave a comment below